Hey there, friends, and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna. Today, we get to watch, finally, the latest Last of Us 2 trailer. This was dropped during the PlayStation State of Play this afternoon. I couldn't watch it at the time because I was on set. I had to go complete social media blackout so that no part of it got spoiled for me. I cannot wait to watch it. I am so excited. It is all I've been thinking about all day and let's just see what's in store for us. Scale of one to 10. How would you rate our kiss from last night? <laughs> Look who decided to join us. All right. You all know the drill. Run your routes. Lock your logbooks. You run into anything you can't handle. Uh, Ellie! You have no idea what you're walking into. What are you doing? You don't know how large that group is. How armed. I don't care. You can't stop this. on your own. <sighs> oh, man. Finally, some Joel. <sighs> of course. Of course it's in spring of 2020. <sighs> man. <sighs> oh, I gotta breathe. Okay. 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 All right. Let's talk. Okay what to say first. So that trailer was wicked good, and it led us to some things that were highly speculated at. Number one, that something bad happens to Dina, who is Ellie's love interest, as seems to be reconfirmed in this trailer uh, with Ellie wearing her bracelet. And it seems as though with the like, where are you, Dina? She gets taken, kidnapped, murdered, to know what happens to her. Something bad happens to her and Ellie has just decided to go on this rampage to avenge her, rescue her, and we're back uh, with, with Tommy, a little Tommy sighting, which is interesting. So uh, glad he's still kicking around which is great. I think that was almost a purposeful misdirect because you think you're gonna see Joel. And if you're seeing Tommy, that must mean Joel's not around anymore. But crisscross, at the very end of the trailer, we finally get our first real glimpse at Joel being alive 
and going on this journey with Ellie. Now, this is something that was highly suspected considering it's been said that this is a story of Joel and Ellie and The Last of Us will always be about Joel and Ellie. The fact that we finally get it confirmed that Joel is in this game and probably a lot is going to be fabulous. There's going to be another Joel and Ellie adventure. He looks so weathered. He looks so aged but he looks so good in that. That's Joel. Like, the tougher he gets, the harder he works, the more he survives, the more you love him. And and the more scars that show how much he's fought to be here, you love him for it. And so it is so good to see him like that in just a, in just a general character sense. With Ellie, we've already gotten lots of good glimpses of her, so we already knew she was going to look older, but throughout the trailer, she still consistently looks really, really good. Graphically beautiful, of course, but just so... I don't even really know what I'm trying to say, but just her face is so emotive throughout every little tiny moment in the trailer. Like when she's pulling the arrow out from her shoulder, it's so incredibly exciting about what this game is going to be like to play. There are remnants throughout the trailer of things that remind us of the original Last of Us, little homages I would guess that is really exciting to see. For example, this shot right here looks very similar to the original Last of Us. We're on a horse, you have the cityscape, but it's also covered in green. It's an exciting notion that they're going to do their best to honor the original while also making something entirely new and entirely different. I cannot wait. I cannot even say any more right now because it's been a long day for me, but just everything looks Great, and I'm so excited to see where these characters go. Again, it's been said that this is a story about hate and how far that will take you when the first one was about love and how far that would take you. So I am really interested to see what gets uncovered in the character of Ellie, someone who has been raised in the fires of this post-apocalyptic world. Whew, I am getting chills just thinking about it. I was so happy to see Joel. This was a very emotional moment and we got a release date. Can't not talk about the release date, right? February 21st, February 21st, 2020. How am I gonna finish this game before March 3rd? <laughs> You guys know that there is something only a little bit important happening on March 3rd in my life. What could it be? Uh, it's almost as if the game that I'm voice acting in is coming out on March 3rd. Do you know how many days there are between February 21st and March 3rd? Not enough, let me tell you. As a content creator, I am sweating. I have all of the biggest games of the past five years to cover. <laughs> in a two-week span. Wow, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I hope you guys are ready to go on this journey with me. If your question that you're typing in the comments, or maybe you've already typed it because people do that all the time, is are you going to be doing a playthrough of The Last of Us Part Two? The answer is yes undeniably will be doing that. I would say there was not a lot of surprising things in this trailer. Everything had been pretty much hinted at. There's no real bombs being dropped in this trailer, but it's really just a confirmation of the narrative that had been hinted to many times along the way. It is a negation of my Theseus theory, a little bit, kind of, because the Theseus theory denotes that we're going to be sent on a mission by Joel to work our way to kill the big enemy, the Minotaur, and we'd, we'd need the help of Ariadne to infiltrate the, the maze. However, this seems to indicate that our Ariadne has been kidnapped and we're going on some sort of uh, avenging or rescue mission in order to, with, with the help of Joel, who ends up being our, our helper. So a little bit of a, a turn in that Theseus theory on its head just a little bit. If you haven't seen my original theory video since it's been debunked, it's really just kind of a fun ride through what's been released so far. I, I released it quite, a, quite some time ago, actually, but I'll leave a link to that video in the description below so you can check it out. And I can't wait to talk about what is actually going to be happening. So maybe I will I'll do a revised Theseus theory. It'll be an adventure. We'll see. 
Again, thank you all for watching. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And, um, you know, typical end of video stuff that doesn't matter anymore. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for Strange Rebel Gaming. That's this channel right here if you forgot so you don't miss the next video. That's all. I'm so excited for this game. Okay, no, really, that's all. I love you guys so much. Bye.